so right in here, I got a bunch of this kind of uh, decorative paint. It's uh, like a soft gloss acrylic paint, but it says it's um, durable for wood, um, walls, fabric, concrete, etc. So I got a bunch of colors of that to paint the background in before I put any of the mixed media stuff down. I um, got a bigger brush to do that. Um, I got this stuff called E6000. It's a non-flammable adhesive, so it's safe to use indoors for the uh, fire department or whatever. All right, and in this bag, I use this fake fur stuff. Um, I got a bunch of different colors. I pretty much bought out all the stuff they had for the fur. These are the only colors they have. But they work pretty good. They're all kind of like warm colors. Um, inside of this is uh, all kinds of different gold paper. Let me try to bring it to the light to show you guys a little bit better. Um, let's see here. So you can kind of see the different textures in these and stuff like that. And then I got another one of these, but this is all. Uh, holographic textures. I got some more uh, glue sticks. I use a this hot glue gun um, in Elmer's Craft Bond glue gun. Um, and then I got some separate sheets in here like you can buy these just by themselves. Um, let's see, I got like green, blue, red, gold, more holographic. Um, these are bigger sheets so I can use them to make like bigger characters. So I got those. Um, and then there is two books of this uh, glitter cardstock, which I, is the main stuff I use. So you can see there's a bunch of different colors in here. Then I got some more of these larger pieces. It's kind of like a blue, green, turquoise blend. Really cool star holographic one. White and blue, pink, holographic. Um, purple and blue. This is a really cool kind of texture. I like that color, color combo. Like a disco ball type one pink, kind of like a peppery fire one. I got another one of these as well. So those are going to be the main uh, materials, pretty much all the materials I'm using to paint this bathroom. So uh, I'll keep you guys updated on the process. One thing I'm learning to do is use these scraps from older uh, projects, so that first mixed media painting I did. And, um, you know, if I see a larger piece, maybe like this, I will cut out the big chunk of it, but then with the trimmings um, around that chunk, I'm going to kind of make a collage as one big piece. That way I can cut it out and use it. Um, I'll show you guys an example of how I used that in the last one. You can see right there, the face of these guys are made up of a bunch of different pieces. So that's kind of what I'm doing in here with using all these trimmings.